Okay, and it's uh, it's day again, so we won't be getting any more spawns. Oh, so I've been playing um, Sims earlier on. Uh huh. I got Sims Four because I thought, you know, why not? Yeah. Um. And yeah, it's it's very slightly addictive. <laughs> it's not positive at all. Oh, that's the end of that. I can tell you've been work you've been playing the Sims because you've been doing a very good job of building our house. <laughs> Is it gonna be populated with people who don't speak English? Flurby <laughs> Herbert <laughs> Should say they don't speak English. I'm not being xenophobic, but uh, I can't understand the Sims, I'm fairly sure nobody can. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of uh, the point. <laughs> mm. uh, you can usually tell what mood they're in though. Yeah, they're quite good at expressing that. Fix this situation. Right. Uh, oh, there's still there's some walls over there, isn't there? Um, I don't know if it's even worth. I guess it is worth putting this back. I'm determined to make the uh, lighting of Skyblock Resort a little bit more modern, so I'm installing some jack o' lanterns in the uh, in the house. Okay. If we can't have windows, we shall have jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> Fair enough. Jack-o'-lanterns are good. I like them. Um, how are we doing with that grass? Is it spreading? It's not very much, it's unfortunately. It's really not at all, is it? No. I wonder whether it would have been better to let it kind of... To leave a big area. I wonder if a big area spreads better than just a small patch. Well, it's probably going to spread more if it's got a wider sort of section yeah but as for the uh the kind of leaving a large like a three by three area or something like that i don't think that really increases the spread any so yeah it was just kind of false hope when that first one went instantly mm, yeah it's fine it'll grow in time and uh yeah pretty soon we'll all be eating steak yes I like what you've done with the trapdoors over here. That seems like a remarkably uh, sensible thing to do. Yeah, that that means that instead of trying to fight the creepers, we can just bait them. Just yeah, just aggro them over that bridge and then yeah, cause drop them off. Creepers are stupid, so they'll <laughs> they, they think that trapdoors are there even when they're open. Um, but that is absolutely to our benefit. So mm. um, we need a, another wall over there. Oh, we do have a wall in stock. That's handy. So yeah, I was talking about the Sims anyway. Mm. And it's um, they they really kind of got it right manipulating situations now and the the options they offer you for doing things. Um, basically create soap opera style dramas uh-huh it's uh, it's quite funny i i um i got to the point where i pr proposed to a girl and immediately i'd done that she decided she was going to go off home uh somewhere at which point within like half a second of her leaving her sister turned up and started being very suggestive towards me <laughs> gosh so i had to fend her off and get rid of her and uh, she, yeah, she clearly wanted to create some massive situation there for our Drama, and... yeah. <laughs> I thought that was rather humor. So... Yeah, I'm thinking about doing a series on, on The Sims, actually. Or maybe something a bit less infrequent than a series. Sounds good. We've got seven sugarcane now. Cool. Stashed in that chest. So we can uh, make a map of our sky. Oh no, we need iron, don't we? Yeah, we need iron and redstone for that. Oh, so, redstone, uh, of course. So yeah, okay. we we might. I don't know if witches drop redstone, um, but I'm pretty sure they drop most of the potion ingredients. Glowstone they definitely drop. Maybe oh, okay. gunpowder. So it's possible if we're brave enough to fight witches at any point. Mm. Um, yeah, we might be able to get some redstone off of her and then. Iron maybe off zombies, so eventually... I like the fact that you've kept my wall in here. 
Well, it wasn't doing any harm. <laughs> I feel like if the, if we have signs or something, we should put a sign next to it saying, you know, this is the uh, the wall of shame or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. But uh, yeah, I've still got the sword and the bow, by the way, but I'm going to put those back in the chest until night falls again. Okay. Oh, I've just noticed a problem. Hmm? I think I've used up all of the cobble and I haven't built another, um, what do I call it? Oh, we're gonna have to be make a new pick out of wood, aren't we? Uh, it's all right. I'll just bash three with my hands, because I'm I'm that strong, you know. I can just smash hard stone with my fists. I'm gonna sit back and watch this. There you go. One. Ugh. I'm gonna need bandaging up after this. My fists are gonna be a, a bloody pulp. Two. Here we go. And Rawr, three. Oh, except I appear to have lost every single one of those. Yeah, if you bash cobblestone with your fists, um, it doesn't drop a block. Oh, thanks for telling me that. Yeah, I thought I'd just let you go through <laughs> with that one, and I uh, think we know who's the brains of this operation. No, no, it's it's all good. It's all, oh, don't do that. It's fine. It's fine. Here, have two cobblestone. Have two cobblestone. <laughs> Thank you. Although Be the brains. I do need three for a pick, but never mind. Weren't you just holding one? Oh, oh it's a slab. slab. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Now that we got renewable stuff, it might be worth just actually knocking together a few um, pickaxes and then we can... Keep them in reserve. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'll go through this wooden one now. Okay. It's nice to just stand on the edge here and look out over the vastness that is the ocean beneath us. It's probably not ocean, is it? It's sky that we're looking at. We can't even yeah, see yeah. the ocean. This, this, isn't, this isn't an ocean block map. No. <laughs> sea block. <laughs> sea block. One of the first maps I ever generated when I was just kind of testing out stuff originally put me on a tiny desert island about 300 blocks in every direction from land. Right. I had a little bit of grass, not even a tree. And so I had to swim for about 10 minutes before I could even uh, reach the shore, by which time it was almost dark. And I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I, f I managed to find three sheep somehow and made a bed before it uh, got too dangerous. But wow. that, was, uh, that was not the best place to spawn. I'm really happy I didn't start my own series there. Yeah, yeah, that could have been pretty nasty. I'd have had to listen to me talk for 10 minutes before I even started making stuff. <laughs> I wonder if I just put some slabs down there, whether that would be enough. There we go. I thought I was going to have to do a... Um, a little... another water elevator job but I may not need to that should be enough I reckon I've okay. got 27 cobblestone now I'm going to pop that in the floating okay. chest I'm going to use some of that immediately yep do with that what you will uh, let's put the bucket back oh, it's, it's really annoying not you know not wanting to um, run Wanting to sprint around, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a difficult tendency to curb, I find. <laughs> right. Okay, now hopefully this will act as a bit of a shield. I don't know if you can see what I've done over here. I'm coming over to take a look. I've built a little platform down here. Ah, with a one gap, so nice. hopefully we can stand here and bash the legs of everything. Nice. Um, that's that's a good strategy. So what I might do actually is, like I said, put some water down and force them all over to this corner. Mm. At which point we can um, give them a bit of a bashing. Good idea. Let's see how that goes. So we really need to start killing zombies for some uh, rare drops. 
Yes. I need iron, I need potatoes. Those are the, apparently the two things that are missing from my diet. <laughs> iron and potatoes. And everyone needs a nice high iron um, diet, don't they? So I've heard. Cool. Well, that's that gets them off of half of it. The grass still hasn't spread any. I am disappointed. This, right, it's starting to get dark now. Sunset's approaching. Okay. So let's leave that. Do you have the bucket? I do have the bucket. Okay, good. I was I was panicking then for a second. I thought <laughs> I'd done something, like thrown the bucket off the edge of the uh, the abyss or something. Just going to finish up the wall in here. Uh, might install another jack o' lantern. Okay. There's a few of those in the organic materials chest now. Just in case you need one. Okay. Right. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna go back to my duties as mob basher. Okay. If that's fine with you. Yeah, that's absolutely um, fine. I'll just take the sword for now if we're uh, going to try attacking them through that yeah. gap in the wall. Hopefully that should work. Um, I'm seeing a creeper so far. Yep. Skelly so, over there. Yeah, if you keep the door shut and just go down onto that platform, mm. then you should be able to get them through the hole and they shouldn't be able to get you. That's the idea. Is it not low enough? No, I'm... I'm I'm getting the skeleton, I'm just worried about the creeper. Yeah. Can you not hit the creeper from there? Okay. Uh, no. Get away from him. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. There we go. Bye. Fall, you fiend. <laughs> that works so well. <laughs> I'm that, really happy with that. That makes me chuckle every time. That's, that's brilliant. Good work. <laughs> oh, and we've got some... Oh, I've got a wall here. Oh. That must be one you took out before. Um, Got a bone, got an arrow. Excellent. This is working really well. Cool. All right. So, sticking the bone in there, arrow in there. May as well drop the wall off as well. Indeed. Nice. Right, mob spawner we duties. We seem to have got a decent um, working mob spawner now. Yep. With, uh, with good access. I've got to stay away from it so they can spawn, right? Yeah, you've got to be um, yeah. 25 blocks away, so... Okie doke, I will wander over here, have a nice relaxing arboreal experience at the tree farm, and the grass is growing! Yay! Yay fantastic! How far has it, it gone? Just another block? Ju just another block, but that alone seems to be uh, worth celebrating yeah. at this point. <laughs> there was much jubilation in the camp that night. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Python reference number two of the series. <laughs> um, yeah, I've snacked on a bit more melon just to keep my hunger up it's Seriously, we must be like on like episode 10 or 11 somewhere around there by now mm, probably that's only the second python reference i don't know we're, we're, we're slacking <laughs> yeah all right uh there is a creeper there are several creepers wow okay gosh well we can get gunpowder from them i don't know if that's any use to us but well depends how much stuff you want to blow up doesn't it yeah. Come probably, on, lads. Probably less than the creepers do, to be honest. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is pure gold every single time. It is, isn't it? Uh, getting back through this door is not as easy as I first imagined. No. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop laughing at it. It's, prob <laughs> it's probably so ordinary for most of the people watching this, but just makes me chuckle. I've got some stone here already. I'm just basically making tons of whatever I need. Because we're building... So we've only got cobble uh, to build so. oh, oh, nearly. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just getting a tiny amount of lag now, which is... A worry, but uh, I got the gunpowder off that one, so... Cool. 
Yeah, like I said, not sure what we're going to do with gunpowder, but uh, nice to have it all the same. It's an achievement. Yep. 